Okay, so for this week's Friday Night Fake Awake, we've come all the way to Anglesey to the one and only Mr. Ellis Barry at the Marum Grass. Now, this had better me. be good. You've dragged us all the way to Anglesey for this. This is going to be epic. It's going to be epic. Epic with a C on the end. Epic. <laughs> C on the end. Well, what are you, what are you cooking? We've got a fantastic guilt-free burger. A guilt-free burger. Using oh. Welsh black beef. Yeah. Have our cheddar, which is a local cheddar. Okay. And some wonderful other ingredients. Well, this looks very exciting indeed. So why is it a guilt-free burger? We cut the carbs out. Okay. This day and age, nobody wants any carbs. Apart from me, I just <laughs> want chips. I know I, I want carbs. Want chips. <laughs> but we're going with some lovely okay. portobello mushrooms. Looks good. Portobello mushrooms, beef, banging combination. It's very easy. It's very economic yep. and time efficient. Okay, and if you haven't got kind of like Welsh cheddar, you can just use ordinary cheddar. Yeah, you know, so kind of for me, always support your local producers. Yeah as and when you can but don't panic mm -hmm. just get all your ingredients together keep it lean and you're laughing keep it lean keep it lean <laughs> right come on then what are we doing first right so first we've got our lovely portobello mushrooms again mm -hmm. with beef perfect you've got them beefy flavours in there anyway yep. and these are going to act as our burger bun so you're going to take this out remove it yep. and then you're going to put it down on the tray cap side up yeah. They've been seasoned heavily with some salt, salt inside and inside. out. Okay. And I put some little sesame seeds on top. Because it looks like a burger bun. Well, it looks like a burger bun. Well, that, that is the point. Like <laughs> that is it why I chose the portobello mushroom. Is that why? It is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of thoughts gone into this, I can tell. Right, so you've got a burger bun that's so, actually a portobello mushroom. So our burger buns, Fab. as they are, we've got a sesame on there, we've got yep. our salt. In the oven, five minutes. Literally just five minutes? Five minutes. What temperature do you want to put those 180, in? 180. 180, five, five minutes. minutes. That's simple enough so far. Easy peasy. Fantastic stuff. And then, very simple burger. Mm -hmm. We've got 100% Welsh black beef. Okay. That goes in. A little bit of garlic powder, about a teaspoon. Garlic powder you can get in the supermarket. Okay. The, yep. And about the same with salt. Okay. So the salt is there for seasoning. Yeah. But it's also going to act like a glue. Um. So that's what's going to bind your burger together. There is a lot of like scientific knowledge behind it, but I don't have that. So have a look on the internet. <laughs> you'll see I definitely how it don't like have any going. scientific knowledge. Does so some, if does you want something, it. Proteins, enzymes, proteins, right. enzymes. Does, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Fab? Brian, Brian Cox or no? <laughs> right, or Heston. We'll have to, we'll have to get them on, won't we, to, to find out what the... Uh... Just remove that. So then right, hands okay. in. Hands in. Yeah, I'm just going to mix all that in nicely. Yeah. Now you can do this the day before, leave it in the fridge. So it's the salt that's going to bind it together because yeah. a lot of people use like egg yolk or something, don't you? don't need all that mess in the box. Yeah. Yeah. I say, like yeah. So you can smell that already, even just with the garlic powder. Ooh, Good beef. nice. Yeah. And then on our tray. Slap like it so. on the tray. And we're just going to press that down. Now our aim is to get it nice and thin, so that we can cook it nice and quickly. So the thinner it is, the quicker it's going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, and, and it'll keep it nice and moist. So we'll cook yeah. it quick, keeping it keeping it nice and moist. And then, uh, yeah, building up two layers of burgers. Ooh, Otherwise, if you do a big, gosh. thick one, it could take it could take minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes. <laughs> okay, everyone loves a burger. Cereal bowl. Yep. Valentine's last weekend, so a nice, uh, uh, nice heart. A nice heart on it. Why not? So you don't need any fancy cutter outer things, no, do you? You can just no. use. So there's one burger. Wow, well, that's quite a big burger. Yeah, but your burger has to be bigger than your bun because remember, it's going to shrink. So it's going to yeah, it's going to lose a bit of its still. size, yeah. and also if the burger's wider than the bun, it tends to stack so much better. Otherwise, it's like the lean and tower of burgers <laughs> <laughs> or pizzas. Is it pizza? pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally just whack whack the bowl in again, chop it out, yep. and then you've got double burgerage. Yeah, so and then you can use that. You know, put that to one side. You can use that for your bolognese the next day, or make a couple of meatballs. Okay, that is completely fine. So like so. Lovely. And wash your hands. Good stuff out. Wash your hands. What are you going to cook it in? Like a bit of oil? Or? Um, no, we'll just uh, keep it as it is. So literally nothing. Yeah, just, just you need a red hot scorching pan. Okay. And so that should do the trick. So we need to wait for that to heat up a minute. Fingers crossed. So while that's heating up, if tell not, us. We'll do another take. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us then, while we wait for that to take tell us about the new restaurant in Liverpool. The name's Top Secret. You're yeah, not so to tell I can't, us. I'm dying to tell, I can't hold my own water, me. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm dying to tell everybody what the name is, but I'm not allowed. Not allowed. I'm not allowed. But Can it's, you tell us about it's it? going to be absolutely fantastic. We've right. got, we're bringing the Welsh produce over. Yeah. You know, local if you like, it's still, it's not far mm -hmm. away. Um, and then when we get there, we're going to start finding more local ingredients. Yeah. And yeah, we're just going to bring our flavours, our philosophy. To Liverpool. To Liverpool. I'm coming home. And you're coming home. I'm coming yeah, home. I'm coming. South Slider. Yeah. <laughs> well, South Liverpool, you know. Yeah. So, uh, and that's my uh, 
that's my stomping ground. And have you enjoyed it over here in Anglesey though? I love it, you know, in Anglesey I've been allowed mm -hmm. to make mistakes, learn yeah. and, you know, really get to where I am now. Yeah. And that's, that's what I mean, I think it's the right time to get back in the city yeah. and just be involved. And be involved. I mean, Liverpool is the place to, place yeah. to be. Mushrooms are in. Whilst we're waiting for the pan to get nice and hot, yeah. we'll jump on our nice little sauce. Okay, so, so mix and bowl. Mix and bowl. We've got a one shallot, nicely uh -huh. finely diced. Yeah. Same amount of lily pot capers. Okay. Just any old capers would they do? Any old, if they're a bit bigger, just chop them up a little chop bit. Chop them up a little yeah. bit, yeah. Grand. Same amount of dill. Dill, yeah. And talking volume, not weight. Right, okay. So you've got to use your eyes here, otherwise <laughs> you'll have a lot of dill. And then gherkins as well. And then a bit of gherkin. Lovely. And so essentially all this is, is a tartar sauce. Right. We've got two tablespoons of homemade mayonnaise. You can use any any mayonnaise. Any old mayonnaise, any, any old jar mayonnaise. mayonnaise you've yeah. got. Actually we we'll use have. three tablespoons. Right. And then, the old, the old faithful. Oh, you need you need a bit of ketchup, don't you? No burgers complete without a bit of a bit yeah, of ketchup in there. Bit of red sauce on it. And then we mix that up. Right. Into our uh, pan. Right. Nice and careful with the burgers. Burgers in. Oh, look at that. So that pan's smoking hot. Yeah, because you want to get that charred flavour. Right. So it's as if it's been on a barbecue. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. that's how a burger should be. Great stuff. As you can see, we got this is going to take about a minute and a half to cook. Yeah. And then flip it over. So that's, that's really quick, isn't it? Like literally a minute and a half on each side. Yeah, but you've got to be convenient, haven't you? know, it's all about, uh, like I say, getting the. Uh, it's all about getting it quick, getting it on the table quick, feeding Get on the, the table troops, quick, yeah. Isn't it? Those burgers are literally going to be like a minute and a half either side. Make sure yeah. that your beef is nice and fresh. Nice, and yeah. you, you know, something this size, a minute and a half either side, that amount of heat, so, yeah. it's going to cook in no time. Fab. Wicked, so we'll have those. We're going to pour some other mushrooms and our burger sauce. And just well. in the right time, we've got our burger buns Look ready. At Oh, I see what you mean, they do they shrink yeah, it, yeah. don't they? They shrink, yeah, yeah. So we flip them over and just rub them in a bit of the uh, juices oh, and then yum. flip them over again. Bam. We'll just add a little bit of toasted sesame seeds, yeah. a bit more toasted sesame seed yes. to give it that nice little authentic burger look. we we'll just keep flipping them over. It's starting to caramelise, so that's the natural sugars in the meat going, uh, you know, giving it that little roast and charred flavour. Wow, lovely. Oh, it smells delicious. I say you keep the beef at like really good quality. Yeah. And you're laughing. So, so this burger here is ready. You see nice clear juices on top. So we just yep. put that to one side for now. Oh, so what, we're what just gonna throw this into the oven. Yeah. With a little bit of cheese on top just to melt it. Oh okay, so cheese is going on the top. Fab. Yep. And then we'll do the same with this one. Got our nice have our cheddar, our local cheddar. And we're just gonna melt this in the oven. So plenty of cheese on that, but you know, this is carb free. This is carb free. It? So you can have Yeah, your you cheese. can have your meat, your, your vegetables, your fats, your dairy. Just cut out the carbs. Just cut out the carbs. Cut out the carbs. But I suppose if you wanted to, you could. I mean, you could do it with a bun, couldn't you? If you didn't want to yeah, use I mean, it, you, you, you could do, yeah. How would you make a vegetarian version of that burger? What would you use for that? Oh, you could do get some nice like pulses, like chickpeas, yeah, yeah. blitz them up, get some fresh herbs and that in there, a bit of lemon juice, lime oh, juice, nice. whack that in between your two mushrooms. And that. Hey ho, diddly do. A nice big grilled halloumi. Hey ho, diddly do. You know a nice big grilled halloumi. Bosh. That sounds fat. You can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or base. Yeah. Now, me personally, this is how you do it. I want right. a little bit of my sauce. Okay. This is like the Alice way of making yeah. a, make it a Barry burger. A Barry burger. A Barry burger. What would you call this in Welsh? This would be a marum maur. <laughs> a big marum. A big marum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it suits it, because it looks like it's going to be enormous, this. Yeah, so we've burgers. got our gem lettuce. Yeah. Then we've got our burgers. Uh-huh. So this is effectively going to be a bit of a tower, isn't it? When, this when will be an it. absolute tower. Nice. And then we got a bit more of our sauce. Uh huh. It's a special sauce. A special sauce. Our burger. Ah, and then another burger on the top. A bit more gem. Oh. And then. Now I'll tell you what, if you weren't full after that. A little bit more sauce. Oh, more sauce. Oh. And then our lid, and then you're gonna have to squash it down. <laughs> but look at that. I mean, just, no waste. We'll put our tomatoes on there. Yeah. It's like a proper British mum salad that oh, just build the plate it, up yeah. with your lettuce and tomatoes yeah. and cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. Ace. Friday night fake away. Mushroom beef burger. Local produce. 100% beef. Can't go wrong. Hey, diddly doo da doo doo hey. doo, whatever you said before. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should call it, that burger. Well, it looks absolutely amazing. And I think even I could probably manage to cook that, Alice. <laughs> well, simple enough. You might want to put a skewer in there. 
he was going to say you could steal <laughs> something to hold it all together because yeah. yeah see what you mean like it's like <laughs> the tower innit you don't need to have two burgers you could have one so you could have one burger like yeah, yeah. but it just looked pretty spectacular it is spectacular that. yeah right. eat your heart out alright okay. <laughs> don't need to ask me twice <laughs>